Every night. And I ain't never met a riverboat dealer that could ever be a friend of mine. Hell no. Summer heat never treats me kind. It leaves trouble. Can y'all hear? Can y'all hear on this speaker right here? Do I sound beautiful? You're doing this. I'm getting two thumbs up back there. This highway. Pete Pond says. Everybody drink up. Y'all weren't near enthusiastic enough on that. Heading my way for another place, and I got three good tires and a spare. Just a white line gypsy getting out of Mississippi with just enough gas to keep me. Low budget. Live, Jared, you're just live right now, and you're just right outside of camera. Live here from the Hunt Club, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Y'all are a rowdy bunch already. They've been, I said get here early and stay late, and y'all did that, and I appreciate that. Bassmaster Classic 2024. This is uh, this is one of those weeks that it's, it's the biggest week in bass fishing, obviously, but I never know what's going on because I'm always doing all this stuff. And I did not even know who was leading it, honest to God, until 1.30 this morning. That is, I am ashamed to say that. I did not know who was winning the Bassmaster Classic until I finally laid down last night. We've got a camera zip tied. We're running Wi-Fi off my cell phone. It is indeed low budget, but I appreciate uh, we got a few folks tuning in right now live on the interwebs, and we've got several folks here. We got some guests, but I do have a, a very cool announcement. If you are here, I've been teasing it. I've just posted it up on social just a little bit ago, but everybody knows I kind of had a career change, you know, a life change, 19 years with the same place. And I'm proud to say uh, I have, I'm embarking on a new endeavor with a couple of good friends of mine, Steve Sumner and Todd Hammond called Southern Boating Supply. And this is, this is uh, something that I've wanted to do for a very, very long time. I got burned out. Thank y'all. Thank y'all very much. And, uh, you know, I, when, when you're a 10-year-old kid and you love fishing and you love being in the boat, you, you dream to be able to work in this industry or make a living with a rod and reel. I proved I'm not good at that, right? I'm better at talking about it. Frank Scalish took my money so many times in the Northern Opens that I had to tuck tail and come all the way back south crying. I almost just left my boat in Buffalo, New York one time. He's, he's a beast. Uh, but but it's just a, it's it's so cool to be able to not only be a part of this through the podcast and Alabama Bass Trail, National Professional Fishing League, all the things, Low Budget Live, that I'm so grateful to be a part of, but now to be able to – do things the way I want to do them and have folks that believe in uh, the way I see things. And, and the word corporate will not get brought up at Southern Boating Supply, all right? That's a promise. If you hear the word corporate at my place, it ain't coming out of my mouth. So uh, we've got some Southern Boating Supply hats. Uh, another very cool thing that's happening. So I don't know where he's at. Where's Fat Cat? Of course he is. So Fat Cat Newton has been uh, working very hard. You can see the Woods to Water Outdoor Company banners hanging up in here. There are Woods to Water uh, Outdoor Company apparel over here. There's all kinds of shirts. We've got hats. It's something he's been working very, very hard on, and this is kind of the official launch of that as well. There's going to be lots and lots to come with that, so be sure to follow that on social media, Woods to Water Outdoor Company. It's uh, it's something that that I'm proud to be a part of as well. Um, it's kind of a three prong approach. We got Southern boating. We've got the woods to water apparel company, and then, uh, doing some, doing some repping in the tackle world as well. Woods to water in the Southeast is a rep group, repping Bahio sunglasses, arc rods, gill fishing, lots going on. So, uh, I'm never at a, uh, a loss for things to do, but I'm grateful for these new opportunities in life. I'm grateful for each and every one of y'all for turning out tonight and tuning in. So thank y'all very much. I'm also, if you can see behind me, I, I know here on the live, y'all can see it on this zip-tied camera. 
We're going to be playing some damn music tonight. I've got a band of heathens. I've been the Fat Rascals is what Fat Cat Newton dubbed them, and I I, I took offense to that. Um, but it was Luke Duncan in the Fat Rascal, so I at least escaped being called a Fat Rascal. But we're gonna uh, we're gonna have a good time tonight, and uh, appreciate everybody getting in here, getting here early. This place I, I said it wasn't as big as the hill where we were at last year, and we filled that rascal up. And I know we're gonna do that again tonight. We're all cramped in here. So first things first, I've got I've got two guests. We're gonna do this podcast, and then we are going to play some tunes. The first one, I think we might have three guests. I think I see another one. I want to talk to hiding back here too. Somebody just want a, want a little bit of money. Which one? Who, we're, we may have four guests then. I could really talk to everybody in here. There's a lot of interesting people, very interesting people. Uh, real quick, the folks from Fish Tips have brought a lot of hats. They're supporting the podcast. We got Woods to Water Apparel. We've got the folks from Baitworks are here. We got jigs. We got shirts. There's like nobody's, everybody's going to leave with a hangover and something to, uh, to wear later, I think. So, yeah, Pete Pons is here. MPFL Pro Pete Pons. We got Brad Fuller here. Mike come over to MPFL. Paul Benson. We got a crew. We got Travis Lyons. Travi, one of my favorite twins. Favorite two twins. But first, let's get him up here, ladies and gentlemen. The man that needs no introduction, but he's the Honey Bun King. If you if you follow along with the podcast, he uh, he kind of he kind of. He lost. He got his heart broke earlier this year down at Okeechobee by some big bass and a lady that was trying to feed him honey buns. Ladies and gentlemen, the LOB himself, Trey Swindle. Come on up. I ain't even got no head. You went from low budget to no budget. I ain't even got no headset. Look at that. You ran your mouth, and then I handed you some headphones. Look at that. We're too close to each other. We Hurt. are. You back up a little bit. I would also like to point out that his his uncle, Gerald Swindle, texted him just a few minutes ago that said he was not coming because he wasn't invited. Now, look. Now, look. you got to address that on the Internet right now. you got to send Gerald Swindle a personal invite. I think that's bull crap because he should be following my social media and know when this event is. I didn't invite Trey. Trey just kind of follows me around everywhere I damn go. So, Right, I've been looking for you all day. This is the first place I found you. I he texts like, me. He, he texts me like three different times a day. Where are you at? I'm working. I don't know what he was doing. Where are the honey buns? Well, you know, so I brought my girlfriend. He She's been getting ready. Hang on a, a second. Bit, Hold so. that mic to you. say that again in the mic where everybody hears that you got a girlfriend. Go ahead. I got a girlfriend. Trey's She's, got a girlfriend. She's in the everybody house. Everybody, give it up for Trey having a girlfriend. It's kind of a it's kind of a big deal. It okay. Is. I know you was worried about me for a there, while. There are a lot of us have been very worried for a lot of different reasons, but uh, shout out to to somebody for thinking that was a good idea to yeah. be your girlfriend. She's still here for now. I don't know how long she'll be, especially after tonight hanging around you. She might she might call it quits. This pretty, will uh, quits. this will test your relationship. I how long promise. have you guys been together, Trey? You been thinking about getting married or anything like that? So, why'd you have to put me on the spot like that? So I think it's about five or six months now. I think Five or six on. months. Have you yeah. bought a ring or some honey buns or anything? For I it? brought her some honey buns. I brought her about a $28 nacho at the expo yesterday. So that that's worth something, right? That, that is worth something yeah. indeed. So you, you kind of became the low budget live live guest. You did yeah. this last year mm -hmm. in Knoxville. We talked all kind of stuff and you're just my go-to. Yeah. I'm like, Trey Swindle is the go-to for I'm all, sure. I'm always here. You ain't never going to look for me. I'm always right around you. Are you going to Are you gonna sing later? I think oh. all the folks. We're getting a lot. Listen, there's a lot of people watching right now. Oh, is this the Everybody in the comments. Right. Hello, everybody. I'm, try, I'm trying, to, trying to see what y'all are saying. Hope y'all are enjoying your Saturday night. All right, Trey. Not off to the start that you wanted in the opens. You know I'm gonna, you know I'm yep. gonna gig you a little bit, right, like Johnny fine. McCombs, like a Johnny McCombs gig. Well, well, how do we turn it around? So, how do we turn it around? I really don't know the answer to that. You know, you I, I could use the excuse everybody else does and say live scopes raising. I don't catch them. I ain't do you get do tired it. of people saying they, they get their ass kicked? So now they're just like, ah, this oh. forward facing sonar. Well, sometimes I think people look for an excuse to say, well, that's why I got beat. Well, me, I mean, I ain't going to say I've never done it. I ain't going to lie and say I ain't never done it. But for me, it's like you got to adapt to survive. That's a right? fact, man. So Randy like, Howe said that on this show. He wants to be the best over 50 scoper. He's not using it as an excuse. Yep. He wants to get better at it. Well, I love that outlook. Well, I think as fishermen, I think sometimes we, you know, we get down and we just look for a way out of it, you know. And I, and I, 
I just try not to be that way. So I like I, I'm out there every day at Gunners What Smith trying to get better. At it. I just got a 16 inch MPG screen put on my on my boat. Not sponsored by them, paid full price for it. So I like don't, it. Don't come with those comments, right? But I got it put on the boat, and like I said, you got to adapt to survive out here. And I'm not going to make no excuses. I got to get better. I'm getting my butt whooped fair and square. Six more to go, though. Six, yeah, six more to six go. Six more to go. And, like, you know, me and you talk about it. We talk about it every day. I mean, we're, we've got to be good buddies. But over over time, like throughout the Opens the other year, uh, you know, just when I was about ready to quit and give up, so when I dang near won Chesapeake Bay. No doubt. Right? Yeah, you, so, you were at the end of your rope that I was. year, man. I, I mean, I called you on the way up there and didn't know how I was going to get back home, you know. So that, that's, the, that's my outlook on it. I just got to get better. And looking forward to the rest of the season, I have no – you know, I'm not even looking at points. I'm, I'm pretty much out of it, and I kind of know that but I'm just going to try to work to get better and get back at it next year. I love it, buddy. I love it. You know, one of those guys that's whipping your butt in the opens is right up there, Matt Panger. Yeah, Panger, is. shout out Panger, BTL. Y'all make some noise for Bass Talk Live. You, I, I wish I had a button I could press. Here, I'll get a button right here. Watch yeah. this. I got it for – There it is. That's right. That's the Bass Talk Live button that's right, right there. Hit that. We're, they're saying they can't hear out there. You see that bottom knob? Actually, top, top knob. Turn it just a little bit. Just a little bit. Right. Is that better? Can you hear a little bit better? Sorry, y'all. I know it's uh, I know it's tricky to hear. It's loud in here. Hey, let's a little bit better. Is it a little bit better? Oh, it's it's loud. I got these headphones on, so I, I can tell you it's it's loud. Frank Scalish Jr. is saying it's very loud in here. Hey, there's Justin Kimmel. What's up, J.K.? Let's uh, let's give let's give something away. Let's give Let's something away. I'm here for that. The, the I'm here first for that. Part, we'll give something away on the internet. This is going to be tricky because I'll forget this tomorrow, probably, or yeah, by the end of the night. We'll give away a hat on the internet, and we'll give away a hat in here. How about that? I, that'll work. Somebody in the comments can tell me what LOB actually stands for. Why Trey is the LOB. That's a layup. That, That's yeah. a layup. You're going to get guys. a hat in the that. comments on YouTube. Somebody's got that. If you can hear that. Somebody in, in the comments. I'm just saying, I feel kind of weird with no drink in my hand over here. Here's a Celsius. Was this yours or somebody? I'm good. Do I got to worry about anything with you or am I? I yeah, you're be, good. All right, should be good. The dead horse. Nobody's commenting. Nobody wants a hat. We're just going to start throwing them out yeah. in here. Why not? We're going to start throwing them out in here. Hey, 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 there it is. Grab a hat. Look, grab, grab a southern. Yeah, there you, you go. Get a southern boating hat right here. Get a Southern boating hat right there. Frank Scalish Jr. coming in hot. I never won nothing. You never, well, you just did. Congratulations. Me and you Congratulations. both. Brother. Me and you both. All right. So, where do we go next with the Opens? So, we go to Logan Martin. Okay. Logan Martin. You know that place a little bit. I know it a little bit. I mean, not not like people think. You should I know have been it. at the MPFL there. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Probably been a better you idea. You should have pitched the MPFL, Logan yeah. Martin. I'm just saying. Yeah, it was right. a, it was a good one. You should have been in this year. I, I screwed up. All right, I missed out on the MPFL and the ABT. So I really don't know what to do with myself. Yeah, I kicked you to the curb in the ABTs just because yeah. Miss K had a better offer. Yeah, I'm like, well, I guess I lost my partner, lot, my job, a lot better got, offer. Yeah, and then I Miss K sitting right up front, there, right past the camera. Miss, no. I've got bosses in this room for days. Got Brad Fuller from the MPFL to my left, mean mugging me. Miss K right in front, front and center, making sure that I'm behaving. Marissa put her up to that, I will assure you. Well, it's like both of them, probably. I'm trying to read some of these comments. Over. I'm trying Did to I win? I'll take a hat, Luke. Did I win? Christopher Jones. Chris, I didn't see it, but our service is really bad. Uh, so I may not. Yeah, we might miss that. I don't know. Yeah. I didn't even see nobody message, try. Message me on uh, Instagram with an address, and I will, I will send you a hat. How about that? We'll send you some kind of hat because we got all kinds of hats to give away. I said, yeah, I'm, I'm reading some of the I didn't comments. win nothing, did I win? I don't know. Yeah, I'll take a I hat. I like that one. What? I bet she has a, punny, a honey bun in her purse. I think they're talking yeah, about your lady. Talking about my there. lady, yeah. She probably does got one in her purse. I don't know. Actually, I got her little wallet in my pocket, so that's a no-go. But it was. It You're was carrying good. a purse already? Well, yeah, you're yeah. about to get married. You're yeah. fixing to get married. Yeah, I like that. All right, Trey, we've got somebody. I've got, I've got to get a couple other folks up here in this rowdy room before we move on. One of which I saw walk through, and I don't know where he went. Where they at? I don't know where he went. My place. Man, and then, we, and then we've got, go and then we've out. got the guy over here in the corner wearing a cowboy hat that everybody wants to hear from. I think right now, right? He's ready to go. He's ready to go. Where did Fat Cat go? Where's Fat Cat Newton? 
Fat Cat Newton. Where's he at? Fat Cat. Yeah, gra grab Fat Cat Newton. Look, I'm just going to sit here and look pretty till he gets here. Take my place. You got anything? Look right there in that camera, Trey. Tell them. And look at these people. Look at all these. There's yeah. at least 9,000 people in this room right now. It is. It's I mean, a, I don't even know. Most people. You better. 27,000. There's 72,000 on Low Budget Live right now. 72,000. Low Budget Live, live. Hey. Anything look. you want to say to them? Do you uh, think Miss Tracy's watching at home right now? Is she proud? Does she know you're here? Did my, you take her car here? <laughs> No, Where's Marty? <laughs> Marty Marty is probably at the shop. No, my mom's actually on a cruise, so she probably ain't even got no phone service. That gum yep. shout out. Shout yep. out, Miss Tracy. Shout out, Miss Tracy. Shout out, Miss Tracy. Marty Marty's comes. probably at the shop with no supervision, which that means dancing. that's no good. He's dancing he's, right he's now. He's probably shuffling around the shop. By he's himself. definitely doing the Marty shuffle. Here he comes. Trey Look. Swindle, everybody. Y'all give it up for little OB Trey. <laughs> Honey Bun himself, I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you so much. For coming all right we're gonna get i want this guy to tell you what he's got going on real quick he's he's wall to wall treetop tall ladies and gentlemen my brother from another mother fat cat newton right here ladies and gentlemen 24 to 5 to 5 to 4 is this what we're talking on yeah no headphones or you can use hard. i don't care about headphones do i need them i mean if you can hear me you're good i got you dude talk to me dude wall to wall I don't even. What's the water? Do. Let's hear it. So, so you were. Yeah. I gave you like this crazy, crazy, crazy intro. I was like, this guy's the coolest I've ever met, and he's been working so hard. And I was like, everybody, give it up for Fat Cat. And then you weren't here, so it was really awkward. But I let you down again. That was typical. That's what I do. <laughs> typical. Yeah. So, so what's the water outdoor company? I was kind of explaining. You've been working very hard. You got some things coming. You got ah, working hard. It's kind of an you overstatement. Got, you got, but you've got tell about. I yeah, we got stuff, man. And look, we got. Lots of folks in the comments. We do have stuff, man. Appreciate all y'all tuning in, man. Love me some Luke Duncan. All the low lifers out there, low budget live. One of the best, if not the best, in the game. Woods the water, man. We have really, really been taking our time. We're easing into this. We're just trying to build a community of like-minded people, man. And we believe that Woods the water can help us do that. It's been around since 2019. It kind of went to sleep, and we're just trying to throw some Waking life back up. into it. Wake it up and, and, and just. Spread the word of what we love, man, whether it's from the woods to the water, from the deep, dark seas to the big, tall trees, we got you covered at Woods the Water. And it's just building that community is what we're trying to do. No doubt, man. And you've got some good-looking stuff. you got some Appreciate stuff you. here. All you uh, low-lifers watching from home, I apologize, yeah. but you can find it soon. Tell them where they can yeah, find man. it. Yeah, man. I don't know. WoodsTheWaterOutdoorCo.com, where you can find it. But listen, what I'm trying to do is bring back corduroy. If you want to be a corduroy cowboy, what is the water? It's got you covered, man. Because that right there, it ain't nothing but the straight hotness. Look, now this is a Paul Benson special. That's not a fat cat special, it's just not, to clarify. Not a fat cat shirt. And Gerald Swindle had a scope shirt I saw. Yeah, this shirt came back in 87, this though. One was a lot, this one's an OG. If it's you like minty fresh checks, there you go. Scope them up. Scope smallmouth watch. Hey, dude, snag me a buff real quick, Bobby. Snag me a buff. Everybody's, one. Bo everybody's Bobby, by the way. When you yeah, everybody's that, Bobby. I know you know that online, yeah. but like everybody's Bobby in his real life too. Like when he, everybody's Bobby. We're right. one them bad boys open lane. Right. Uh oh, oh, we broke yep. it. No, we broke it. Raise your hand if you want a shirt. Who likes? Yeah, right. There we go. Hey, you. Who likes you get a shirt. And you get a shirt. Wah, 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 wah. Hey. Free shirt horn. Check now. This is. All right, show that off. Yeah, so I'm going to hold this up to the camera, and then we'll pass it around. Take one and pass it around. Everybody's okay. getting a buff koozie Everybody's shirt. Getting a buff. So I want to give my man credit on this one. He's been telling me about this design. Hold I, that up there, Lane. Lane, hold it up uh, to the camera right using, You're using and abusing you, man. Lane is I know. Like, Come on, Lane. Lane. Get your life right, Bobby. Hold it up now. I'm kidding. Everybody got quiet. Everybody. Everything's okay, folks. Everybody. Okay. <laughs> no, Bobby, in front of the camera. Camera. Attaboy. <laughs> Lane, Lane right, White, up. Lana Anyways. White, Lane Harrell, everybody. Yep. He's been working hard all night. So, you, everybody. Appreciate you coming right out. We'll see you all tomorrow. So, really detailed. It looks like, what do you call that typical bandana? Paisley. 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 But, but it's actually all outdoor everything right here. It's like, it's got, tell them what's on it. Yeah, so you got your hooks, you got your crawls, you got your rods, you got your props. Basically, anything fishing is on that. We just went ahead and we're doing a bass fishing Paisley print. We're going to do a hunting print. We're going to do a lot of stuff. This is the kind of stuff that I want to implement into 
the outdoor roar for the woods of water. And the only bad part about it is I live in a, I live in a neighborhood where I can't wear that red. Oh, I got to be hey. I got to be careful. You know, one love, baby, one love. I got to be careful, man. I nobody wants to wind up like Tupac. Hey, two you know? up, and two down. You know what I'm saying? We gotta watch that, son. Yeah, and trust him fingers. Tulsa kind of wild. I know it is. Tulsa That's why I'm glad we're in here and protected because no Tulsa doubt. don't play no games. Tulsa. So when will this stuff be available? You got more designs coming, but when will it start being available online and things like that? Yeah, dude. Beginning of April. I would say April first, but uh, yeah, but it's gonna be first week of April. We're coming out hot. I, I say we're coming out hot, but honestly, we're just stepping our toes in. We want to feel out the folks to see what y'all really want. Because like I said, I am sincere about building a community of like-minded people. That's the most important thing with this Woods the Water brand. So I love it. Coming soon. Fat Cat Newton. Yeah, am I done? Right there. I mean, if you want to be. Are you going to do Freebird tonight? You, want to <laughs> you love that, don't you? You know what, Fat Cat? <laughs> That's what I say. Are you going to do any Gavin Adcock covers tonight? Hey, don't you be using language like that. Oh, no. Show. Kid show. It's a kid show. Dude, it is stacked up in here. It is wild to see it well, wadded up like this. We have three decks. Three insides tour. Hey, how about this? You don't know this because you've been here running your lips and shaking your hips. Already running out of beer. And we haven't even started the party. You know, this is the funny. So so I want to challenge all you lowlifers. Let's listen to this and y'all at home can kind of join in. So when we booked this, right? And every year that I've done this, since 2020, we've done, this is our fourth one. We skipped Greenville, Okay. Every time we go to book a venue, they're like, eh, bunch of fishermen, eh, it's a podcast. We don't, yeah, we don't. Is anybody going to show up? And every year at the end of the night, they go, oh, my God, those fishermen show up. Those lowlifers show up. So this place had a band booked. I was told, man, they better, I, I hope that you guys have some people show up. Yeah. Fat Cat says they're almost out of beer. Come on, lowlifers. <laughs> Give your livers a round of applause. <laughs> and for those keeping score, it's 734. We haven't even really started the real party yet. It, things are going to get interesting. We've got uh, we've got some special guests. <laughs> Stick your face in that cap. <laughs> nobody, oh, nobody can see. That was a <laughs> there was a turnpike troubadour that brought me something offensive. <laughs> He's over here roaming around in the background. Ryan Ingham. <laughs> Have mercy. Have mercy. You completely derailed me. Hey, by the way, I've got a microphone all night, Ingleman. He drives a Trans Am, probably. <laughs> <laughs> big, big, big Ford guy. Yeah, big Ford big guy. Big Ford guy. You know what the loves that you know Bud Light. Ford, loves you know what Bud Ford Light stands for, right? First on race day. <laughs> No, there's there's another one, but I'm sure. we won't say it. Let's not. Woods to Water, what's the website? Because I don't know it, and I should. Yeah, woodstowateroutdoorco.com. Try that one. If that doesn't work, just hit us up on social media. Hit yeah, that'd be easier. Hit, yeah, back hit me up. Just, I, I really don't know much, dude. All I know is that uh, I'm just, I don't like podcasts. <laughs> I know you don't. Yeah. And that's why it's just I love just letting you just sit here. Have we talked about Southern Boating Supply at we, all? I talked about Yeah, you weren't in here for my announcement, so I appreciate that. I'm and not I'm even wanting to be here right a, now. It was a sentimental moment, and I'm I'm glad that one of my closest the friends wasn't here. Off. Dude, that's Southern Boating Supply on social media. All What's platform. that website? So southernboatingsupply.com. There's really not a lot on it. It's just some pictures of me shirtless. Nobody wants to see that. Nice, let's uh, go. Got some airbrushed abs and whatnot on there. Uh, but you can go to Southern Boating Supply on Instagram and Facebook. I would greatly appreciate that. Everybody go drop it a follow because all the updates will be coming through there. And there's a lot of updates to come. There it is. What's the water outdoor co on social media? Go follow that. Keep up with all the updates. We're coming at you. Wall to wall, tree top tall, 24 to 5 to 5 to 5. All right. I want you to introduce our final guest of the night, the cowboy. I want you, I want you to bring him up. Who is it? He, he has made, you know, there are three letters in bass fishing that are polarizing, right? FFS. Those three letters oh, are boy, very boy. polarizing. There are three Here other letters. Here we go. That are bringing bass fishermen together. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everyone from all around the world, please get on your feet, put your hands together, and give a big warm welcome for the man that is well of all, Tree Top Tall, that loves fishing boat docks, James Motherfucker <laughs> FBD, FBD, FBD. 
SBD. Oh, oh boy. Oh, Luke, Luke, Luke calm down. Hey, hey everybody, Bill hey, Bill Taylor. Hey, look, Bill Taylor just walked in. Look at look all at the low liver. Look at this, James Watson. This is a small table. <laughs> it's a, up close and personal. Thanks for that. And uh, really a nice introduction, Fat Cat. Thank you. You notice he just ran away again. He doesn't he want did. to listen to any of the shit you have I to know. say. <laughs> Nobody's listening to the shit you're saying anyway, Luke. Everybody's got their own conversations going on out here. You little kind of tricked me into coming to this thing. I thought we got to do a podcast, and then I got to listen to your shitty music. <laughs> I'm like, hell with that. I'm going back to throw some dice. Careful, low budget live dishes out fines. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I sold enough FBD hats today to take care of a few of them. How many FBD hats have you sold today? On the floor, I sold eighty. <laughs> and on my on the merch on the merch site last night at eleven o'clock, we had sold thirty. So, so over a hundred FBD hats are yeah, free. Oh out. yes, I did see a lot of them walking around the expo. Does anybody? Do you? Did you bring any? You uh, brought no, me just one. brought you one. You brought me Somebody's one. already took it. No, I got it. I got it hiding up here because I want to go home with it. Dude, that, the way I've calculated my math, and it's a very genius math, I got to do about 1,200 more FBD hats to pay for my fine. To fa- pay for the first fine, I feel like the FBD hats could lead to another fine. What do we, What's the over-under on there, that? There's no chance that FBD hat could ever render me a fine for any reason. For any there reason. Go. This is the new one yes. available on James the merch, Earl, my merch page. What what's the uh, web address though? I don't I don't have a clue. It's on my social medias. But anyway, twelve hundred more. Can I give this That's one away yours. in here? Are you yeah, sure? If you want to, it's yours. You can do Let's what you it. want with it. Who wants an FBD hat? Who wants one of these? Who wants this one? Well, first you gotta do they fish boat knocks. Don't give it, don't do it. Don't give it to somebody. Don't give it to somebody throwing a live scoping thingy. They got to be fishing a boat dock. You can't throw a jig head and a minner. Nope. Okay, you got to fish boat docks. Look at Goob. Tell Goob. Hey, listen. Look, 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 look at Goob. Look right front. How are you going to ignore Miss K? I'm not ignoring right? I can't help Goob's guts falling out. Can't help it. Goob, pull up your britches. <laughs> <laughs> he just holds his hands up. Nobody can see on camera what's going on. <laughs> Miss Kate, can I Kate. announce who's getting this? Even yeah. though I've said your name, Kate, like come on, Get. winner Kate. of the FBD hat. I got to give it yeah, to her. Yeah, you have to. Miss Kate, come yes, up here. Come up camera. here. Let's go. Yes. Right here. Look at this camera right here, Miss Kate. Lean right here in the camera. <laughs> just, well, our viewership just went up. <laughs> Only fins. That, that, Only happened fins. Real, that happened real quickly. So come at slow motion. In case anybody wants to know, uh, she keeps my light bill on along with the MPFL. <laughs> is the Alabama Bass Trail HR here tonight? <laughs> okay. Is the Alabama Bass Trail HR department here tonight? Okay. Are you are you are the HR department? I'm yeah, I knew that. Yes, she is indeed. Multiple hats. Listen, we the last today I did the Express podcast in the Express booth. Shout out Express Boats. And Kay stood right there next to me, judging me everything I said. Our last event at Smith Lake, she stood for two hours on the side of the stage, judging every word that I said the entire time. Make you nervous, man. Just waiting for you to step on your ding ding. How often do you step on your ding ding there, Luke? You know, James, a man in a cowboy hat like that would ask, ask that question. A lot. <laughs> a lot. A lot. Often. A lot. Often I'll answer not near as much. The, not near as much as me. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, I know. <laughs> that's a fact. Do you want to give some stuff away? We yeah, gotta go let's give let's some give, stuff away. Why don't you make up a trivia question? Oh, okay. Some Somebody says, better hope Boyd isn't in the house. What's that even mean? It's fishing boat docks. Why? It's fishing boat docks. What it is, stands for fishing boat docks. It does not stand for that dirty, dirty stuff that... Don't give him any credit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You you get along with him, right? Absolutely. Yeah. You guys are the best. Yeah. Number one. <laughs> no, number the one. Best of friends. The best of the best of friends. The best of friends. <laughs> oh boy. I'm not getting you in trouble. No, I'm not I'm getting in trouble. To. I'm trying to. Oh, I do just fine getting myself in trouble. So let me ask you this. After your South Carolina videos, did you get in trouble? When uh, you were at Santee and there was no live coverage, and you seemed to be clearly upset. 
I did get I did get threatened that another fine is possibly on its way. Did it come? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet, but <laughs> what? I'm hey, not the most fine angler ever. Let's hear it by a round of applause if you think James will get fined again this year. Let's hear it. So one more time. One more, oh, one one more time. time. Let's hear it if you think James Watson is going to get fined again. Let's hear it. <laughs> Somebody said I needed to start me a GoFundMe page and then, oh, uh, Lord, Tim Tard. Josh Butts is standing up. All right. Shit. He wants to sign. Just throw some cash this way. <laughs> my marketing dude said it would probably not be a good look for you to start a GoFundMe page when you're building a fucking $3 million house. You want to you wanna do a faster way of losing fans, just do a fucking GoFundMe page. So instead, I'm going to sell cheap T-shirts and hats. Low Budget Live 2024 Bassmaster Classic. I'm not on the bleep button, and it's okay. Josh Bucks. Making it rain. Making it. Whoa, we know where this old boy's been. Thank you. <laughs> Listen, I know we ain't, ain't there. Ones there. Sweaty. You guys watching at home, 90,000 watching at home right now. You don't understand. Uh, I, I put out the warning to the low lifers that they needed to get oh, here yeah. early. They got here early. A lot of low lifers beat me here to set up. We're almost out of beer. You Please didn't say send potty beer mouth. and help. You didn't put me up as potty mouth? No, I didn't put you up as potty mouth. Oh, you're, that's your mistake. You knew better. So tell us about the cowboy hat. Uh, is it because Joey Fuentes won two tournaments last year? You're trying to kind of steal his deal? or No, <laughs> but that's a good – Good point. Joey C. Joey C. Joey C. Yeah. How about, I did drive through Joey C's neck of the woods and got me a good old speeding ticket two days ago. Shoot Were you it. wearing that hat? No, I wasn't. So I immediately put it on thinking that I'd get off the hook, but it did not work. It didn't work out? No. Stu, I got one in Stugart, and I got one just past B Branch, Arkansas. That's Larry in, Nixon's. In he a 24-hour period. Larry Nixon's probably the sheriff in B Branch, I feel you know, like he's, now. He's, he's got influence. The influence. Did, did you get out of it because of Larry? Uh, one I did. The other I did not. You did get out of a ticket? Do you use your fame and fortune to get out of things like that? I try to use whatever bit of fame I've got left. But it's I think you're rapidly you, depleting. Hey, round of applause. Do we think James Watson's star is rising right now? His stock is going up, right? Social media. It's a... Do we, go do for we a think, mere moment. Do we think his bass fishing career is over? Yes. 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 Should he start a podcast? No. Matt Panger says no. We don't no. need any more fishing. We don't podcasts. need any more dipshits doing podcasts. We got plenty of that. I could just come and do a podcast with you and other dipshits whenever I want. Like Castledine? Like Castle, Castledine? Like Listen. Todd, Fat Listen. Tad Castledine. Yeah. <laughs> Fat Todd. Fat Todd. Fat Todd. So Todd started doing those videos, and he was like, hey, listen, I'm not trying to do what you and Panger do, okay? Like, like it's not a podcast. Like, it's just you know what I mean? like, it's like yeah. a video. Like, yeah. listen. Yeah, like, I'm just, just talking. A, like I'm just talking. Just, I'm just talking to a video, like, yeah. to the camera, yeah. right? And then. But it's the not a podcast. The last time I talked to him, he's like, so I had Watson on the podcast, right? <laughs> I said, I didn't think you had a podcast, Todd. Todd's got a podcast. That's awesome. Shout out Fat Todd. I just I get talked in circles when I'm with Fat Tad. He Listen, just talks to me in circles. Ryan Engelman that's playing guitar with us tonight from the great band Turnpike Troubadours. Let's hear it for the Turnpike Troubadours. <laughs> One of Oklahoma's and the country's greatest country acts. Uh, what about Ben? Ben's in that band. Ben Ballou, we're going to introduce the band. There you we'll go. We'll get to that. You're All right ahead of me, damn it. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm just playing the so, jugs. But Ryan is a Ryan's a very great angler. He's a fan of the sport. He calls me one day and he goes, hey, what do you know about that Castledine fella? <laughs> and I said, Fat Todd? Yeah, Fat Todd Castledine. He's a good friend of mine. He goes, does he always just talk and never make a point? <laughs> He he's always like, starts one before he finishes he's one. He's like, fantastic fisherman. Looks like he catches the hell out of him. Yeah. Never makes a point. I said, <laughs> you figured it out pretty quick. <laughs> got to love the fat we, dad. We love fat Todd. Where are you going next in the world? You got to go uh, Del Hollow. 
Uh, before that, though, we're going to uh, Lake Lanier. Are they having that deal? Yes. Oh, I heard they were. Your name's on the list. I ain't paying no you, damn interest. Well, yeah, you have better check your credit card. No, I never gave him a credit card. I heard it wasn't happening. Oh, no, it's happening. It is happening to yeah. an angler association. Your name's on there. You're there's, going. There's so much going on you know, up here. There's right a now. lot of activity. What is that? Is that Julie Rambanis? <laughs> I cannot deal with you tonight. This is that? It's amazing. We need to give some stuff away. Who likes free stuff? Yeah, everybody's hey. here for free. What, Everybody what? comes to the classic to get free stuff. Yeah, this is actually all. This is the fisherman handshake, dude. Right here, you this should have seen the hate and discontent when somebody would come up and say, "I want one of them hats," and I said, "It's your lucky day. I, I got them." Yes, I said twenty five bucks. Hmm. Where, where can the uh, hats be found at the expo? If there's somebody watching, if there's somebody in the room, if they don't have an FBD hat, where can they get one Extreme. besides from Miss K? Extreme. Don't take her. She'll. No, karate chop you. Kick you with them shiny cowboy boots. You, you want some of them flakes <laughs> up your, you know what? Flakes of diamonds. Yeah, those are platinum. Platinum diamond blue. Platinum boots. Sapphire. Miss K. Where can they find them? The, the Extreme F Outdoors boots. Got a few left. But mostly there's going to be in my possession come by. You better have cash. Cash only? Cash only. Do I don't do anything? swipe cards. Do you have anything else in your backpack? Worldwide hats. Didn't sell a single one of them. You didn't sell a single world. Well, I might, might have sold twelve or thirteen. Is it is that over the worldwide? Are no. You have to... <laughs> Did I die? Hey, remember me? Remember what I, I killed never you? Figure, I remember when I killed you. You don't remember because you was, was dead. dead. So you lost the interest of everybody in here, Listen, just like you do in here. Every podcast crazy. that you do. Who's ready to uh, have a Who's really ready? good time? Yeah. We're going to do that tonight. I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate James Watson. Appreciate you low lifers tuning in. Appreciate everybody that gives me the opportunity to run my mouth and do this like the Alabama Bass Trail, like the National Professional Fishing League. Make sure you're following all their social media channels. Make sure you're following Southern Boating Supply. Lots of good things to come. Woods to Water Outdoor Company, Fish Tips, Gill, Baitworks, Express Boats. We did a an entire show in the express boats with my mic cables what yeah i almost i almost said something out loud on the microphone james said a former sponsor and almost full senate right there ladies and gentlemen triggered me but we appreciate each and every one of y'all tuning in tonight take you out with some biloxi blues we got some live music if you're at the hunt club we've got a five-piece band it's they're called Luke Duncan and the Fat Rascals. I'm Luke Duncan. I'm definitely not a fat rascal. My gut will tell you otherwise, but I'm definitely not a fat rascal. We got Ben Ballou on the bass guitar tonight. Give it up for Ben Ballou. We got Shannon Wheeler on the damn fiddle. If you've seen him, you know that's going to be a large time. We've got the Alabama Bass Trail Tournament Director Extraordinaire, John Simpson, playing drums. And last but not least, we got one of them damn turnpike troubadours. Ryan Engelman is going to play the lead guitar. We're going to have a big time. If you're watching online, we appreciate y'all tuning in. And we'll see y'all next week at some point. Your wife's watching. Ryan, is it the real Ryan Ingram? Is that what you just said? The real Ryan Ingram is, is not here or the fake Ryan Ingram. Neither is Joe Durham. Shout out, Joe. We miss you. I saw you were looking for a co-angler for a BFL. Hope you found it. All right. We're going we're gonna to tear all this stuff down. We're going to do uh, a couple little sound check things, and we'll be back. Thank y'all, low lifers. I appreciate y'all, and we will see y'all next week.